If they're not sexually attracted to you, I would just let them eat my pussy and that's it. It's your girl Glennificent here back at it again with a back at it again, honey. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> if you guys are new, don't forget to subscribe, tap that bell, be notified when your girl uploads, and all that other good stuff. So let me just make the announcement now. Basically, guys, what I want to start doing on my channel, I think I mentioned it a few years ago, but what I want to start doing on my channel is um I want to know what's tea. What's tea? Like, if I can help in any way I can, please let me know. Okay, so, as you guys know, I am a plus size lesbian. And, um, I'm very open to trying new things. And I, a lot of people come to me for advice. And I just feel like, why not uh, turn it into a, like a whole vibe, okay? So, I don't know if I'm, I'm not explaining it right, but basically... What I would do is you guys would tell, like, ask me for advice. You guys can be anonymous or not. It depends. It's up to you. Um, but I will basically do a video. I've seen other YouTubers do it as well. But I would do a video on it and I would, like, give you guys my advice but on camera. Okay, so my, like, most brutally honest advice um, that I can give you, I'll give it to you on camera. And Glam's advice. That's what I'm going to call it. Glam's advice. So, you guys can just, you know, email me. I'll leave my email down below. You guys can just check my email or DM me, whatever. But you guys can comment it. If you don't care, comment it under the video. One of my lovely subscribers and supporters, um, she asked me for advice on something that she was going through or whatever. So I was like, sure, I'll do it. I asked her if it was okay if she can be the first on Glam's advice. And she said yes. So, yeah, let's get into it. But I'm in love with this girl that I feel like is not in love with me. We grew up together. We even had sex. But for some reason, I feel like she is not sexually attracted to me. But we can't leave each other alone. Okay. So, with that. <laughs> she's in love with a girl. And she feels like the girl is not in love with her. Or sexually attracted to her but they can't leave each other alone so it kind of sounds like a I just have a lot of questions so it's like okay one in that situation if you told a girl that you love her and she didn't say it back it doesn't necessarily mean that she doesn't love you it could just mean that she's not ready to say it or it could mean a lot of things it could mean she's not in love with you it could mean um, she's not ready to say it it can mean a lot of things. I would ask her. <laughs> if you guys have been talking for so long, if I was you, I would ask her, what are your feelings toward me? Like, like we clearly can't leave each other alone. But then you got to think about it too. Like, is it toxic? Like, do you guys argue a lot? If you guys are arguing a lot, then it's definitely toxic because... If she's not, if you feel like she don't love you or she's not sexually attracted to you, that's, you got to ask all these questions. I would ask. Me, I'm not afraid to ask anything. I'll just ask. So if I was you, I would honestly sit her down and be like, what are we doing? <laughs> what are we? So you need to ask her a whole bunch of questions. What are we? What are we doing? Um, because it's not like you guys just met. You guys have been... You guys knew each other since you guys were children or teenagers or whatever because you guys grew up together. So that means that you, you can actually ask her anything. So sometimes with some people, you might just be, um, what is it? Like, I don't want to say it as harsh as it may seem, but you might be local pussy. Meaning somebody local that they can just want to have sex with, cuddle and do couple shit, but... It's because you're just you're you're within arm's reach so I would ask because I do feel like you deserve better and um, but you know she is 
you guys are younger she is younger but it's like it's not like you're ready to settle down yet or anything i don't believe i don't know if she's ready to settle down guys but yeah if if i was her i would probably ask her like what are we you know you still have time to really um get to know people and be a thotty if you wanted to <laughs> like you, like you're still young so i would personally just like i would just ask her that way you know i would ask her these questions that way you know how to move and what's what because you wouldn't want to like what if this is hap what if what if you guys are still in the same predicament same doing the same stuff about six years from now by then you'll be close to your 30s it doesn't make sense to you know you want to you want to see where people head is at so it doesn't make it doesn't hurt to ask her these questions it doesn't hurt to ask her what are we what are we doing do you love me i love you um stuff like that and you and she also said that she's not she don't know if she's sexually attracted to her why do you say that is it because like do you guys have sex and then she doesn't look you in the eye like you could tell a lot about people if they don't look you in the eye or you can tell with body chemistry when this when you're having sex with someone you can kind of tell if they like you or not if they're feeling you or not so that's kind of hurtful to even hear that the person is not sexually attracted to you like you guys aren't together but i feel like you deserve better so if they're not sexually attracted to you i would just let them eat my pussy and that's it <laughs> period if you're not sexually attracted to me why am i eating your pussy and stuff like that unless we scissoring i see if we scissoring i ain't gotta like you i ain't got to like you break i ain't got to <laughs> I mean, you might be cute enough to scissor, but I don't know. I don't know. But it seems like you really, really like this girl. So, because you are in love with her. So, that can be kind of like serious, like dangerous, even. You don't want to lose yourself in this person. So, if I was you, I would just, like I said, I would ask her these questions, see where her head is at, and go from there. At least you know. And you're not in denial and you know that hey this person this person don't like me okay this person just, just likes me because i'm good at sex or this person likes me because we you know maybe a codependence thing where they like you because you're right there like maybe no one else wants them i don't know maybe they do maybe she does like you or, or love you but she don't want to say it you know what I mean? So, if I was you, I would say just have fun, but also ask her those questions. That's what I would do, okay? Um, because when I read this, I should have asked more questions. That way, I can go off more. But this is all I have, so yeah. And the fact that y'all can't leave each other alone, that says a lot. So, it can mean so many things. It can mean that, like I said, you're a local pussy. Or it can mean that you are, um, how you call it, you know somebody that she's comfortable with and just because the person is comfortable with you doesn't mean that they love you but it could also mean that she loves you as well she just don't want to say it yet and i would ask her like are you sexually i would ask her all that shit are you sexually attracted to me do you love me do you want to be with me do can you do you see yourself with me i would ask her those questions because baby okay when i was your age i wasted a lot of time a lot of time and you want to ask these people these questions and it's like it's not like you just met her you knew her for some time now so you can it's not like you'll be asking inappropriate questions these are questions you need to know all those questions i just said you need to ask her period okay but that was my first that was my advice okay because you are a queen and you deserve the best period if the person is not on your time they can't get a dime of your pussy okay if they're not where they're not on your time kick them that's it take off the watch that's it <laughs> but yes that was my advice to you boo okay you're beautiful you're smart you're a go-getter go get you somebody who like you period okay so, thank you all for rocking with your girl don't forget to send in your tea so i can give you some advice 
the best way I can, okay? And don't forget to love yourself first and keep it glamming. Glam love is inside me. I love you guys.